This is John 15 and 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh be the name of the Father, who people are going to call God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who people are going to call Jesus. Bahashem Rakakwadash. It's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord, will to the end. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Lord, will this lesson be out of fine to the elect. Going in today on basically the, the end part, the world hated, hated you. <clears throat> And we understand that, man, or we should know that because we're not associated with the world, that the world's going to hate us because we're speaking on the evil of this place. You know, we're speaking of the bad and upholding, uplifting that which is good, which is what? Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we uplifting the names, you know, we, we are uplifting the laws, the statutes, the commandments, we're lifting, we lifting up that, man. We are uh, bringing righteousness back. What scripture say? Uh, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So this, this world, you know, this rulership, you know, this time, this age that <clears throat> Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is ruling. His time of rulership is, is a slowly ending, you know, his time is up. So I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures. The Lord will edify the elect. I'm going to read it again. John 15 and 19. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. The world loves his own. The, the world, you see who's, who gets celebrated here. Follow the money, follow the fame. And you see who the world loves. It says, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. And that's what happened. Yahweh Shemiah Shah has chosen us to be separated from this world. And really, we should be saying, Thawada Yahweh Shemiah Shah, thank you. You know, because he pulled us up out of this world. And brought us into his marvelous light. He brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So we're able to see. We're able to see that Revelations 13 and 16 is the MOTB. We're not, we're not uh drawn away from you know the truth. We're drawn to the truth. It says, I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So what? Don't think it's strange. That you hated by those that you consider, you know, your, that you thought wouldn't hate you, or if people hate you without a cause, like you don't, you don't understand. You, you, at times, you know, coming up against people, and you're like, man, I didn't even do nothing to these people, literally, but they, they hating on me, and it's not just saying that, you know, it's not just a. Uh, cliche they hating on me no you got people really despising you because of what you're you're associated and what you're a part of it's bigger than just us it's, it's bigger than that it's this is because it's of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai it says verse 20 it says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If you have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So don't think it, you know, strange because we come up against those that, you know, you got a lot of people, uh, uh, brothers, especially brothers with a uh, 
Well, just across the board, brothers uh, got a, a what they call them a. I'm about to call them mockers, but they they are mockers, but they're uh, people that come up against this truth. You know, scoffers. You got scoffers, man, of of that that are coming up against this truth, but against it's not against us though. It's against you. How about Shimei Is that if I if they hated if they hated me, you know they're gonna hate you. Because we bringing out the same thing. That lets us know really that we doing the right thing. That we're on the right path. I'm gonna jump to this next one. This is uh <clears throat> this is uh Amos five. And verse fourteen. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live, and so Yahweh the power of hosts shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good. That's what we're supposed to do just because <clears throat> we're being excommunicated from this world doesn't mean that we're supposed to join. You know that saying that if you can't beat them, join them. That's far further from the truth for us. We we can't we can't beat them in in this in this, you know, sense as far as uh, the things of this world, you know, m the money, because people, they, hey, we we don't we don't have it like like that, because that's not our claim to fame. We're not trying to become rich here. We pushing to become rich in faith, you know. We put pu we pushing to become, you know, have a, have a righteous sense about us. We pushing for that to have plenty of that, but as far as you know, the things, hey, we, we're uh, content with having our daily bread. That's why it's hard to, to get around these two thirds because they wondering, they see the potential in you. They see it within us like, man, they could be so much more if they just, they saying, like they said to smoke, if you just uh, apply yourself. You know, they thinking that we're not applying ourselves, but we are applying ourselves. We're applying ourselves in a spiritual aspect, though. We're, we're, Putting all our our eggs in the right basket into Yahweh Shemal Shah, we're not putting it into this world. So you you're gonna get hate because of that, because they they look at you like you're like you're good for nothing, thinking you're lazy, thinking you you you're not uh, uh you're not making sound decisions, because they're like, man, if you put all that effort into to this instead of this. That's not giving you, they don't see, they don't see the investment in it and pushing into this truth as you do. Because that's, again, that's that faith. That's that gift of faith that's been given to you. So you see the benefit every time you, you know, go out on the highways and hedges. You see the benefit of every time you put up a lesson, how you're investing into this truth. You see it when you, when you uh, are being a, a, uh, a helper to to a Akim. The scriptures say a charity suffer a multitude of sins. You see your investment into that. But the but if they're not of this truth, they they won't see it. It says, Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh the power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So, hey, man, we're supposed to hate the evil. If we go along to get along, that's the wrong spirit to be in. We're supposed to stand up against evil. That's that's what makes this place balance. We got to we gotta stand for, for what's right. Nobody else is. You see, everybody else, they going along to get along. 
everybody, everybody just saying, oh, that's okay. Uh, I did a video uh, uh, probably a month back where it says we love everybody with the, uh, with the um, rainbow flag. And it was, it was, it was at the church. It was right in front of their church. So that's the things that we, we speak up against, man. It's not us, but the scriptures speak up against. But they're in that love everybody spirit. Hey, Yahweh Shem Shah is not about all love. He hates. You know? It's a he's a he's a balanced power. He loves, but he also hates. And, and right now, uh, even the apostle, he's been saying that hey, we're in a time of that. We're in a time of hate. We're in a time of war, man. When you at war, you, you you don't see those people that's over there, you know, in, in Palestine and in Israel being a uh, uh, lovey dovey. They're in the spirit of hate right now. How much more us, you know, that's in this truth? Hey, we're not supposed to uh, love our enemies. You know, Jake trying to trying to be. That's why the scriptures say, "Never trust your enemy." We ain't supposed to trust this damn devil. I'm gonna jump over back to uh, I'm gonna get John 15 and verse 16 it says, "Ye have not chosen me." But I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name, he may give it you. And the point is, he says, I have chosen you and ordained you. So, hey, we've been chosen for this, man. I did a lesson, I believe it was yesterday. We know many are called, but few are chosen. Lord will, we are that chosen. So that's why we hate this world, man. That's why we hate, you know, how uh, everyone is just so engulfed into the things of this world and not considering, you know, the spiritual aspect, considering Yahweh Shem Shai. It's like all the, all the evil that's going on in this world is being overlooked. Everybody's turning a blind eye to it, acting as if they don't see it. But we're here to, you know, to bring it out and let it be known that it's not going unseen. That's that saying said, uh, for evil to, I'm just paraphrasing, but basically for evil to, to dwell, it take good people to sit back and not do nothing, you know? You know, we know we're not good because we, we still go off, but we have a, a, a spirit of the desire to do what's good. We had a desire to, and we do good when we can, you know, but we do go off too. So when, when good, when good people do nothing and sit by, that's when evil prevails. So that's why, you know, we can't, we can't just sit back and just allow, even if it is the highest of the highest, you know, and we, our life's in jeopardy. Because you better believe us speaking up against this world is is causing opposition. And be, best believe if it wasn't for Yahweh Shem Shai, they would put us to death. And also, hey, that's why daily we we say the water Yahweh Shem Shai for, you know, constantly keeping us, keeping us, you know, safe, keeping us about of harm's way. So this is uh, John 17 and verse 14. I have given them thy word and the world have hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. He want to get, hey, Yahweh Shai want to keep us from this evil and the elect are going to be kept away from it. 
You're only going to be able to go so far. That's why we came into this truth when we did. We were getting close. You know, we might, some of us might have got real close to, to the, you know, going over the edge. Some may have seemed like we tipped over into the edge, but it was he only allowed us to go so far before he, you know, he brought us up out of that darkness and brought us into the light. Verse 16, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So we we know Yahweh Shai, he not, he not with all this that's going on here in this world. That's why he's coming back with a vengeance. That's why he's coming back with a sword. That's why he's coming back to, to do some damage. Him and the angels, it's going to be a lot of a lot of furniture moving going on here in Babylon, a.k.a. America. It's going to be a lot of destruction going on because he's what he said to say. He's angry with the wicked every day. It's a lot of it's a lot of anger that's going on. It's a lot of frustration, a lot of uh, things that he sees that's going on that, that shouldn't be. And people are mocking the Heavenly Father and his son. And he's, they're witnessing all this. It's not going where it's not being seen. He's seeing the mockery of using a alphabet group. And then they, they're using this, these flags, you know, that were meant for a reminder of the flood. They're seeing all this. He's seeing the mockery that, you know, they put Yahweh Shai up as a so-called white man. Put his name as as uh, the Hispanics say, Jesus. So he's seeing all this, man. So it's not gonna go unpunished. Every hey, we have to we're gonna be accountable for everything, every word, everything that we do. We we gonna be held accountable for, especially this devil. He that leadeth in to captivity shall go into captivity. That's not that's not something that's been forgotten about. Though to how much they would love for it to be forgotten. This is I'm gonna get this last one. I'm gonna close it. This is Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah 30 and 10. Which say to the seer, see not. And to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And we understand that's what the people want to hear. They don't want to hear, you know, about the laws, the statutes, the commandments. They don't want to hear the truth of the scriptures of the Bible. They want to hear the things that make them feel good. So that's why they go to church to these, you know, average churches that are here that feed on their, you know, their emotions feed on their, you know, their feelings play music to make them feel good. And old so, and, and we're total opposite of that. We want to speak the truth, whether you hear or forbear, whether you listen or not, whether you like it or not, whether you, you accept it or not. The scriptures say, uh, paraphrasing, uh, basically, I'll tell you the truth. Does it make it a lie? Just because you don't basically, just be, I'll tell you a truth, and just because you don't believe it, does it make, make it not true? I know I butchered it, but you get the point. Just because you don't believe it doesn't make that is it's not true. So hey, this this the truth always prevails. Good always over over uh wins over evil. So hey man, don't worry about being concerned about this world. Don't worry about being attached to this world. Cause it's going to fade away. It's going, all this is going to be said and done here soon. We're looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth. Lord will, this is edifying to the elect until next time. Lord will. Shalom. On.